so right now in this video we just want to add some simple tests or description to the readme.md file then after which we're going to see how to create an account on mpmjs.org but first to work on the readme.md file what we're going to do is we are just going to add a simple test a description how to install the module and probably just a brief description about the method now the first thing we need to do inside the readme.md file you add the hash then space the name of the module so the name of the module is random string module so you add hash then the name of the module now this is going to make this bold unlike if you just decide to just put the string this way so this is just a formatting for the uh, read me uh, md5 that is markdown files then inside here we're going to give the same description we have inside the package.json which says a module that returns alphanumeric strings so if you go back a module that returns alphanumeric strings now you can add whatever description you want and how much of the description you want to have inside the readme file because this whatever we have in the readme file that is what will be displayed on the page inside the npmjs.org then the next thing is we want to add two hash or pound sign then i can say how to install now this will be more this will be bolder than this first one here we have just one pound sign or hash sign here we have two so here i will just say npm install or we can decide to use pound let me see how it looks npm install random string module then we add the save flag so this is how the user will have need to install the module to be able to use the model then the next thing is how to use then here we can say create a variable random set it equal to require then random string module now note this pound sign that i'm using is just a formatting for markdown files that we can use inside our readme.md so it, it's nothing special so we'll see how all this looks when we push to github now the next thing is we can decide to add a method but before we add a method we can add three back ticks and specify what we want to display and what we want to display is just javascript so we add three back ticks not tilde but rather three back ticks then we have uh, add a javascript if we want to display html you add html here but rather we want to display javascript so we're going to type in javascript you add three back ticks then javascript then the method we are going to add we're going to say method then the method we want to display is just the random char method now for the random char we can give it brief description that says this method takes in an integer an integer value which specifies the length of the returned characters or strings length of the returned strings so we can leave it at that then the next thing we can just put a console dot log then random dot 
random char then we can specify a value here 10 so we can see return we can just put a, a random value here so this is just a random value that i'm adding zq because we are specifying 10 so it's going to the character that will be returned will be of length 10. so this is just the simple test we are adding inside the readme.md file so for every other module we are going to create this is the pattern we are going to follow or this is the pattern we are going to take so for you you can decide to add as much description as you want inside your readme.md file but for me i will leave it this way so i have the name of the string the module and a description that says a module that returns alphanumeric strings then how to install this is the command to install the module with the save flag then how to use this is how we require the module then because we want to it to display javascript so we are using three back takes with javascript to make this know that okay we are writing javascript codes now the method that we have inside this module is called random char and this method takes in an integer value which specifies the length of the return strings then we just put an example here and this is the result of the example that we added so this is our readme file now the next thing we need to do is to push this to the github repository you can pause the video to copy all of this so it's a just a very simple description now if we go to our terminal we type git add all then the next thing is git commit dash m so i can say added description module description to the readme.md file so this is the commit message then the next thing is to push the changes we've made so we say git push now i'll add my username and the password now as you can see the code has been pushed to the repository we just need to go to our browser to see what we have so I will just click on the random string module and I scroll down right here you can see what we have just the simple tests here random string then how to install npm install random string module then save then how to use this is how to use it we require the module then if you can see this is inside the block with the method called random char and the description we added this method takes in an integer value which specifies the length of the return strings then we specified an example console.log random dot random char now this random is from this variable we added here and then the random char is the function with the length so this is what we've added to our um, random uh, readme.md file and when we publish to the npm registry this is what we are going to see and this is what the users will see now that we've created this you can just look at this pause this video to copy all of this or as well i will add this readme file to this video so you can have this now the next thing we want to do before we are going to publish is we need to go to the npm registry to create an account i already have an account on npmjs.org so the registration is as simple as creating an account on github as i said earlier so we go to npmjs.org so npmjs.org if you don't have an account npmjs.org so you type this it's going to take you to the page if you are not logged in already or if you don't have an account you can just sign up the sign up process is very easy just need an email a username and a password so what you're going to do is just add the name your name then public email maybe 
you can probably use the email used while registering or you use on github then you add a username then your password that is easy so this is what you just have to do then you click on the um, license agreement then after that you create an account after creating an account you can then log in i already have an account so i'll just log in so you can see that the registration for this is very very easy so it's very very easy in the next video we are going to publish the module finally to the npm registry so that when user a user searches for the module is going to be displayed on the npm page so we're going to do that in the next video